Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Taronic here to present to you Mental Chatter Musings 30th edition newly interactive newsletter, spotlighting none other than author and creative artisan Latoya Chandler. Mental Chatter Musings insists you take some time during the month of November to get to know author and creative artisan Latoya Chandler. Read and review one of her novels or even pick up one of her scents. It's a guarantee you won't be disappointed. And now for a brief overview of your monthly major transits. On November the 4th, the new moon in Scorpio transitions to 12 degrees. For some signs, this brings major blessings of new opportunities. Others, you have to work a little harder for them. Signs that are blessed by this new moon are your areas of Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Your areas of Leo and Aquarius are the areas where you'll have to work just a little bit harder for those new opportunities to come your way. And as for your areas of Virgo and Capricorn, that is where you can find new opportunities and assistance this month. On November the 5th, the sun moves into Scorpio, blessing those same areas, highlighting opportunities and assistance and illuminating where you will have challenges and have to apply more effort. On November the 5th, Venus reigns the energies of romance, finances, and pleasure to our area of career and mastery, Capricorn. For your areas of Aries and Libra, you have to work a little harder, but there's goodness coming there where you would normally have struggle. In your areas of Pisces and Scorpio, you can find opportunities and assistance for love or even making money. Pleasurable times is in the mix as well. And your blessed areas are Taurus and Virgo. Be sure to check your chart. On that very same day, Mercury, the planet of communication and skills, enters our sector of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, things we're passionate about, and even sex and intimacy. Our water signs are blessed by these angles. Signs that square these angles where challenges will be um, in communication, you can find those in Aquarius and Leo. And as for your assistance and opportunities communicated your way, those would be in your areas of Capricorn and Virgo. On November the 19th, we have a full moon partial lunar eclipse at 27 degrees Taurus, which promises we'll all be letting something go in our area of money, personal resources, or our worth in general. On September the 21st, Sagittarius season starts. The sun moves into our collective area of long distance travel, education and skills, what you think and preach. Areas of assistance and opportunity are Libra and Aquarius. Blessed areas are Aries and Leo. And areas of friction are Virgo and Pisces. And last but not least, on November the 24th, Mercury enters our collective sector of Sagittarius, prompting communication and skills to be focused on what we think and preach, our education and skills, and even long distance travel. Fire signs are definitely blessed by this angle. 
signs that could see more challenges or have to put more effort in toward their communication and skills would be Pisces and Virgo. And opportunities and assistance will show up in your areas of Libra and Aquarius. Be sure to check your chart. For more details on the daily astrology, don't hesitate to go to Enchantress Press Astrology on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you there. Bye now.